get settled in there. All right. Well, maybe coach, if you could just start us off with general <laughs> thoughts on the team, the week. Well, it's good to be at Oklahoma State, a place we have some familiarity with, having played <clears throat> in the new stadium the last two years. A uh, program with great tradition and fan base. Obviously, Arkansas has great tradition and fan base. Really don't know as much about Grand Canyon, but they wouldn't be here unless they're a very good club. <clears throat> we made it through our conference tournament last year, last week, uh, six games, and you know our pitching really stepped up and helped us, and here we are. Questions? Speaking of pitching, who, who are you starting tomorrow? Forest Farms. What, what would you say about him? And what, why I hope he throws play? good. Expand on that a little bit. Yeah, he's uh, you know he's been one of our weekend guys all year, and <clears throat> you know he probably threw the most important game of his career and of our season when he beat SIU five to one last Wednesday in a complete game, and there are no complete games in the world anymore. So he picked up our staff and really gave us, put us in a good position for the rest of the tournament. I guess for, for both players, Greg, maybe you could take it first. But um, were you guys feeling good having your conference tournament at home? I know you've been dealing with a lot of injuries, but you guys seem to be playing better down the stretch. Came to Fable and got a big win. And just, uh, I mean, did, did y'all have a good feeling that you guys were going to win that tournament and get to a regional? Yeah, I mean, having it at home was huge. Uh, just being able to sleep in your own beds, uh, especially with the weather delay and and all that happened there with the day being canceled. It was a lot nicer being able to have your own car, drive to the places you want, eat the things that you want, and, and sleep in your own bed, especially for those days that were were changed and, like, late games, early games, and all that. So, um, And then with that being said, it, I think it showed on the field, just being comfortable with... Uh, the playing conditions and, and being at our own field, it helped. Yeah, uh, basically the same thing he said, just sleeping in your own bed and sticking to your routines that you would normally have for home games. Uh, it was a big help, and uh, the, the fans around Springfield got to come out and watch us play, so that was big too. Coach, what, what, what do you think of this ballpark? Fabulous. Um, <clears throat> You know, like I said, we were here a year ago, and we're here this year. And, I mean, it's <clears throat> obviously, along with Arkansas, two of the top baseball stadiums in the country, period. We're kind of joking about it, but does it seem like there can't be a regional without – and I know you guys are in the same <clears throat> region, and that makes some sense. But it just seems like Missouri State and Arkansas well, were together. Well, we right weren't right. together last year. Nor were we together in, well, there wasn't anything in 20, <clears throat> nor were we together in 19. So, uh, you know, it, I think the NCAA is doing more regional type uh, pairings of teams. It makes sense from a crowd standpoint. <clears throat> you know, I <clears throat> personally was hoping we would come here, and the reason was the proximity staying out of air travel. I mean, it's a hard day. I'm sure Grand Canyon had a hard travel day yesterday. You get on the bus, you come here. <clears throat> I mean, I wasn't rooting to play Oklahoma State, but I was rooting for an easy physical trip for our players. And we saw on Twitter last night about your Hollis Hotel situation. Can you enlighten us? And I guess you want to change and go over there? Uh, well, uh, could you tell us what a hotel? I heard it was a micro hotel. Is that <laughs> That's accurate. Okay. I'm staying at one in Perry, so I hope mine is better than that. One. So is our athletic director. Yeah, but um, I guess seriously, I mean, how does that impact it when you got got a common? I guess you're in a different hotel now, and the things are not better. a problem. <clears throat> we had a problem, we solved it. We're moving on. You just call because I know there aren't a lot of rooms in Stillwater. You just call somebody at the NCAA, or how do you go about? It? Well, our athletic administration, along with Oklahoma State, found us new rooms. For the players, um, I'm sure you guys, you know, you, you did deal with stuff, but how, how bad was it and how glad are you to be in a different spot? I mean, we didn't really want to stay there last night, but our coaches and, and administration did a good job finding us a new hotel for the people that needed to move, and it was an easy move just across the street, and I'm pretty sure we're going to a new hotel today, so it'll, 
it'll all be fine and we'll be ready to play Oklahoma State tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, and on all, in all honesty, it'll probably be a pretty good story to tell uh, when we're older. So uh, no, it's not going to take away from how prepared we are for tomorrow. So. Can you tell us what hotel you guys are in now? Well, there's two. <clears throat> Holiday Inn Express and the Hampton in Ponca City. Okay. Well, how far is Ponca City? From? 45 minutes, what we've been told. Is that be okay with that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We've been fine commuting from Tulsa. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's not a factor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I saw the video last night. The guys walking. I'm thinking, I don't understand anything quite like this. It was they were out after curfew. I had to chase them down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad I got, got resolved. And, you know, it's no fun staying in a place that's not, not good. It's over now. Anything else? Can you guys play Arkansas in the midweek a few weeks ago? Uh, both of you guys, I think, have pretty good games. I guess, do you guys have any thoughts on a potential matchup with the Razorbacks? Who are you asking? All right, what was the question specifically? Do you have any thoughts on playing a potential matchup with the Razorbacks? We know they're good every year, and they're good this year. So everybody that gets to a regional is good, and you got to be at your best. Yeah. yeah. And in, in retrospect, how, how big a win was that for you guys in favor? You, you came in there and played pretty well. I know it got a little crazy there in the ninth, but but that was you know, how big a win. Was well, we had you know we had a lot of ups and downs this year with our season due to whatever reasons, and you know I think that was certainly a game that made the guys feel better that they could beat a team that was that good. Yeah, just beating a team like that gives us more confidence coming into. A regional like this with Oklahoma State and Arkansas and GCU, uh, we know we can play with them, and, and we know we can beat uh, the best teams in the country. Yeah, that win just solidified our thoughts that we can compete with anyone in the country. So, All right. we good? You guys got any more? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. What newspaper?